what do we know about the production of Tesla's 4680 battery? Tesla CEO Elon Musk aims for the Cybertruck to reach an annual production scale of 250,000 units by 2025. However, Reuters reported that Tesla is facing mass production bottlenecks with the 4680 battery. The Texas Austin Gigafactory can currently only produce enough 4680 batteries for 24,000 Cybertrucks per year. The primary reason is that the dry coating process adopted for the 4680 batteries is slowing down mass production. Before going into the details, please hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this. Tesla rolled out this new 4680 battery back in 2020, and it's quite the talk of the town in the electric vehicle, EV world. The 4680 refers to its dimensions, 46mm by 80mm, which is a step up from the older batteries they used. This isn't just a size increase, it's about packing more power and energy into a single cell, meaning cars can drive longer distances on a single charge. One of the coolest parts about this battery is its tabless design. This might sound a bit technical, but imagine a battery that's easier to build, charges faster, and is better at not overheating. That's what the tabless design does, and it's pretty groundbreaking in the battery scene. But as with any new tech, it's not all smooth sailing. Scaling up production to make loads and loads of these batteries is challenging. Tesla's been working hard to figure out how to efficiently produce them on a large scale. The big goal here is to make EV more affordable and efficient. With the 4680 battery, Tesla wants to lower the cost of batteries, which is a huge part of the cost of an electric car. If they can make these batteries cheaper, then the dream of having more people driving electric cars gets closer to reality. So the 4680 battery is more than just a new piece of tech. It's part of a bigger vision to change how we all think about and use cars. Sources say that the battery module in the Cybertruck includes 1 360 of the 46 N80 batteries. This means that to achieve an annual production of 250,000 Cybertrucks, Tesla would need to produce 340 million 4680 batteries per year, averaging nearly 1 million 4680 batteries per day. However, Reuters estimated, and three sources confirmed, that the current Texas factory needs about 16 weeks to produce 10 million 4680 batteries, equivalent to an annual production of only about 32.5 million 4680 batteries. This would only supply less than 24,000 Cybertrucks. This is under the assumption that all the current 4680 batteries are dedicated to the mass production of Cybertrucks. However, Tesla also hopes to use the 4680 batteries in other models, such as a more affordable $25,000 electric car. Tesla's Fremont factory in California also has a 4680 battery production line, but with limited capacity, mainly used for trial production. Drew Baglino, senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, pointed out in October that Tesla is currently producing 4680 batteries on two production lines in the Texas factory, with plans to set up a total of eight production lines in two phases. The last four production lines are scheduled to start by the end of 2024. Nevertheless, sources say that replicating the existing technology from one production line to another is not an easy task. Only a scrap rate of about 5% can ensure that the batteries produced on the production line can be profitable, but as each new production line is put into operation, the scrap rate will remain between 30% and 50% for several months. However, progress may be made in expanding the 4680 production capacity. Tesla has been committed to building a strong expertise to produce defect-free batteries at a time, which is a time-consuming process. But once a breakthrough is made and stability is established, progress in expanding 4680 battery production may accelerate. Tesla's dry coating cathode process and production speed are not faster than the old wet process. Even though the scrap rate has been reduced to 10-20%, Tesla is working hard to mix cathode materials such as lithium, manganese, and nickel with a binder, and paste it on to metal foil to produce cathodes without using water. This process is effective in small-scale production, but when scaling up, it generates a lot of heat, melting the binder. The binder is said to be polytetrafluoroethylene, PTFE, commonly known as Teflon. Battery technology consultant Yuan Gao said that the dry coating process for Anodis cathodes supercapsulized the dry coating process. Tesla is trying to increase battery production with dry coating process electrodes, a key factor in significantly reducing investment and establishing smaller and greener factories, rather than using the slower and more expensive wet coating process. Thanks for watching.